Hello, so today I just want to share with you my layering combinations for April of 2023. To start off this month, I use Love Spell, which is like a peach and cherry blossom scent. I don't love it. I, I thought that I liked it because I had only sprayed it here and there and I was like, oh, it's nice. But after using it for a couple days in a row, no, it's a no for me. So this is definitely one that I won't repurchase again. But let's go ahead and get into the combination. So the first one I decided to use is Brazilian Crush 62, which is like a nice pistachio scent. I think most people know what it smells like in the fragrance world. It's a really good one. And I just kind of wanted to add more sweetness to this scent. I don't know. It was it was fine. It was okay. <laughs> Next, I paired Love Spell with La Belle Le Parfum by Jean Paul Gaultier. This is just a really nice pair scent. And it's actually really, really strong. And it kind of overtook the love spell, which I enjoyed more. <laughs> so this one was good. I mean, I'll never buy love spell again, so I don't have to worry about if I'll use this one again. But this was a nice combination. So next I moved on to Strawberry Snowflakes, which is just like a strawberry whipped cream scent. I absolutely love this scent. It does actually smell cold because it has bergamot in it. And it's just so nice. It's very, very light though. So you have to spray a lot of it to be able to smell it. And so I decided to pair it with La Via Spell. This is the Intense Mint version, which is like raspberry. It's super sweet. I really like this version. It's my favorite of all the ones that I have. And it was just really nice with this. It is very strong, though, so it kind of did overpower the Strawberry Snowflakes. The only thing that saves Strawberry Snowflakes is the body cream. It really helps, like, keep that scent. I love this scent, though. So I'm glad I have backups of it, even if the longevity of it is not great. Next up, I paired my strawberry snowflakes with Burberry Elixir, which is such a beautiful strawberry scent. Like if two scents were meant to go together, it was these two. So this one was perfection. 100% would wear this one together again. So nice. So next, I moved on to strawberry pound cake, which is my absolute favorite scent. I wear it pretty much every single month and I never get tired of it. So this month, I decided to pair it with Floral Marshmallow by Dossier, which is their dupe for Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, which is just a really sweet marshmallow orange blossom scent. This scent will add like sweetness to any scent that you need. I mean, not that Strawberry Pound Cake needs any more sweetness, but this one together is so nice. I absolutely love it. I'm actually almost out of my Floral Marshmallow and I definitely need to buy a backup because I love this scent and it goes well with so many other scents from Bath & Body Works. So moving on, I decided to pair a strawberry pound cake with my Pink Sugar Red Velvet. This is actually a really nice scent. It is sweet like pink sugar, but it has like strawberry or something in it. And that really makes it better, in my opinion. It does smell a lot like Love Cotton Candy Champagne, if you remember that scent from Bath & Body Works. And so together, this was just really nice. It just added more sweetness and strawberry to an already wonderful scent. My next scent that I decided to use is Coconut Candy Apple. So this is a an odd scent, but it's such a nice scent. Like it goes together so well. You can smell the apple, you can smell the coconut, you can smell the spiced vanilla, like it all just goes together so nicely. And I decided to pair it with Utopia Vanilla Cocoa by K. Ali. So this is a vanilla coconut floral scent. It does smell a lot like Alien Goddess. I do think it is sweeter though. I actually prefer this one over Alien Goddess. And together, this is just really, really nice. I enjoyed this whole combination. So next, I decided to pair Coconut Candy Apple with Eden Juicy Apple, also by Kayali, which is just a wonderful, fruity, apple, blackberry, raspberry, like all kinds of fruit deliciousness. I love this scent. It is so good. I've heard people say it's a glorified body spray, and maybe it is, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I love it. And together, it was really nice with the Coconut Candy Apple. It kind of gave more of the apple scent, and it's just really sweet. Like, it was just a good day. I like this one a lot. So my next scent that I moved on to is Buttercup's Inberry Bellini. I love this scent. It's just so pretty. Like, the strawberry puree in here is so nice. It is sweet and delicious. Ugh, I just love it. I can't say enough good things about it. And I decided to pair it with Versace's Bright Crystal Absolute, which is also just a very nice, sweet scent. Like, I get a lot of fruit in this one. I don't get a lot of floral or anything. It is absolutely beautiful. And together, this was so nice. I love this one. This was like summer perfection. Like the quintessential pretty girl scent. I loved it. It was so nice. 
So next up, I paired my Butter Custom Berry Bellini with Chanel Chance Otandra. This is a beautiful scent. It is floral, but it's a very sweet floral, and it's like a light floral. It's not like overpowering floral, because I don't like the that kind of scent, but this one I love. This is beautiful, and together this is so nice. Like it added more fruitiness to it, and it just kind of gave it like a little bit more like grown-up vibes. Like it was absolutely wonderful. I love this. So next that I moved on to is Pink Watermelon Blast. This is absolutely one of my favorite summer scents. It smells just like watermelon candy. It is really strong too, so that's always a plus. I decided to pair it with Sweet Like Candy by Ariana Grande, which is just a fruity, sweet scent. I smell just mostly sweetness in this. I can't like distinguish like what fruits are in it, but I like this perfume. It's not anything super special, but it is a really nice perfume, and it's definitely affordable, and I love that about it as well. So this was really nice. I enjoyed this. Next up, I paired Pink Watermelon Blast with Escada's Sorbetto Rosso. I love this perfume. It is watermelon and a little bit of aquatic. has some floral in it, but the floral is like really in the background. Like you don't even notice it, honestly. But this is so perfect together. Like it kind of takes the edge off of Pink Watermelon Blast because it can be a little much sometimes. It's really, really strong and it's really, really sweet. So like adding this to it, kind of like tones it down a notch. I mean, I love strong fragrances, so I don't have a problem with it, but you know, maybe if I'm around other people, they might not want to smell my pink watermelon blast on full blast, you know what I mean? So this one is a perfect combination in my opinion. Next up, I moved on to Bally Black Coconut Sands. This is my favorite coconut scent that they've ever came out with, and I don't know why they discontinued it, but they did. So I finally used up my last set that I had from 2020. This is just a creamy coconut beachy. It has like some salt in it. Like it's just so nice. It's not sunscreen like. It's not super sweet. It's not it's not mixed with anything really. Like it's just a sweet creamy coconut and I absolutely love it. And I decided to pair it with Coco Paradise which I didn't love at first but I do think it's a very good layering perfume. So when I bought the perfume, that was my intention. Like, I don't know if I'd ever wear it on its own, but together, this was so nice. Like, it gave the Coco Paradise more of the sweet coconut that I wanted it to have. To me, Coco Paradise is very, like, sunscreen-like on its own. But together with this, it was really, really nice. I enjoyed this. And I will miss Bally Black Coconut Sands. So next, I decided to pair my Bally Black Coconut Sands with Alien Goddess by Mugler which, like I said earlier, is just a sweet coconut vanilla floral scent. It's not as sweet as the Cali version, but it is still nice. I liked it. Together it went well. It was great. I enjoyed it. Next up, I decided to use Pure Wonder. So I really like this scent. It does smell like clean laundry to me, like a really pretty dryer sheet. Like it, It's not like the white t-shirt kind of clean or like, fresh coconut and cotton. It's not like that, but it does smell like a pretty dryer sheet, like a more perfumey dryer sheet. I really like it. And I decided to pair it with Gingham Gorgeous, which has strawberry and peach, and it's just so pretty. I love this scent. And together, this was really, really nice. Like it added more fruitiness and sweetness to Pure Wonder, which I actually made me enjoy it more. So this was great. So next up, I decided to pair Pure Wonder with my Falling in Love by Philosophy. Which kind of just makes me sad. <laughs> I love this scent. Like if I spray it on my skin and I can smell it, it is so pretty. It's like a black fairy and a vanilla and it's so sweet and it's so beautiful. But this does not smell like anything. Like I can douse myself in this and I can hardly smell it. I think I ended up spraying a quarter of this bottle on this day because I was trying to make it so I could smell it. And it just, you know... Pure Wonder is a pretty strong scent, so it it was no hope. <laughs> it had no hope, and it just makes me sad. Like, sometimes I wonder if I got a bad bottle, but then I read reviews and everybody says it's light, so maybe it's just really, really light. And that's really sad, because it deserves better than that. Like, it's pretty when I can smell it on my skin, but it just doesn't last, and that makes me really sad. Next, I moved on to Melon Sorbet by Victoria's Secret, which is a really nice strawberry watermelon scent. It's really nice. I really enjoy it. And I decided to pair it with Tea's Sugar Floor, also by Victoria's Secret, which is just a really nice sweet apple scent. 
um, has like caramel and stuff in it, but it's just really sweet and it's pretty strong too. So had really good lasting power. This went together really nicely. The next scent I decided to use with my melon sorbet is just pink sugar. I mean, you can't go wrong with pink sugar. It just smells like cotton candy. It's absolutely delicious. It adds sweetness to anything you need it to. And together, this was great. No complaints. So next I moved on to Summer Melody, which is one of my absolute favorite scents. It is honeydew and vanilla. It is simple and it is fantastic. It, it's not complicated. It's just sweet and delicious and so good. I absolutely love it. I decided to pair it with Circus Fantasy by Britney Spears, which is just like a sweet raspberry with some florals in it. Like, it's just a really nice scent. Like, it's just pretty. And I have, I think, almost all of the fantasy perfumes from her other than like two. So I'm just trying to make sure that I rotate through them because what's the point of having all of the perfumes if you don't use them? So, so I wanted to make sure I gave this one a fair shot. I think this is actually the first time I've ever used it. So... But it was nice. I really liked it. Next up for Summer Melody, I used my Aquatic Vanilla by Dossier, which is their dupe from Vanilla Vibes by Juliet Has a Gun. So this is a salty vanilla. It's is, is absolutely amazing. I love it. At first, I didn't. I'm not going to lie. Like, when I first got this perfume from Dossier, I was like, eh, it just smelled really salty to me. But, like, as it sat, like, the vanilla has developed more, and now I can actually really smell the vanilla. And so I just added it into Summer Melody, and it just kind of gave it that, like, beachy feel. Like, it was really, really nice. This was really good. Next, I moved on to Sweet Whiskey. So, as I always say, this is Bonfire Bash with berries. It is very sweet, but it's heavy. Like, it's a really strong scent. Like, you have to be in the mood to wear it when you're going to wear it, because you're going to smell it all day. It does, it, it does not falter <laughs> like it's so strong and then I decided to pair it with vanilla bourbon by mix bar which does smell a lot like bonfire bash it's like a smoky vanilla but really sweet it's really good I enjoy it on its own but together with sweet whiskey it was really great like it kind of just added more vanilla to the sweet whiskey which is already strong so together this was great perfect next moving on I paired sweet whiskey with my black opium le parfum which is their newest one and is my newest obsession. I love this perfume. As a vanilla lover, if you don't have this perfume, you need to try this perfume. It does not disappoint. It is so sweet and has like four different types of vanilla in it. Like it's just, it's great. Like it doesn't smell anything like original black opium or any of the flankers that I've smelled. Like it's like in a league of its own and it is perfection. So of course I paired it with Sweet Whiskey and that vanilla with the sweet whiskey. I don't know, it just makes it better. Like every time I do a pairing with sweet whiskey, it always has vanilla. Like it just makes it better. So this one, no exception. Absolutely delicious. Next, I moved on to Firecracker Pop, which is just a really nice cherry citrus scent. It does smell exactly like a bomb pop. And it's a perfect summer scent. It's like, it's not heavy, like it's fun. It's just really great. And I decided to pair it with Pepe Jeans by Pepe Jeans which is just a sweet scent. Like it has like marshmallow and <laughs> all kinds of scents in it. But to me, it's just sweet. Like that's all I smell is sweet. And it kind of took some of the edge off of Firecracker Pop because Firecracker Pop can be kind of sharp. I'm not going to lie. Like that cherry and the citrus together are like, they're real sharp together. Like it's not a sweet scent. And so adding this in there kind of gave it more of like an ice cream feel. Like I was vanilla ice cream mixed together with the firecracker pop so it was really nice i liked it and who can resist the bottle of the pepe jeans like they're super affordable fragrances and the bottles are super cute next for firecracker pop i did use my cherry by gourmand beauty which is just a sweet cherry scent i mean it's not complicated like burning cherry or like not another cherry it's not anything like that it was just a sweet cherry scent it was really nice. It was really light because all Gourmand Beauty scents are, in my opinion, are the ones that I've tried. But it was nice. You know, I enjoyed it. I actually ended up using this whole bottle. <laughs> so apparently I enjoyed it a little too much. But it was nice. No complaints. So next I moved on to Whitberry Meringue, which is just a sweet cotton candy type of scent. Like it smells just like 
cotton candy clouds or boardwalk taffy in my opinion they smell exactly the same but i love that scent so i'm okay with that and i decided to pair it with katie perry's purr which when i first sprayed this i loved it like i was like oh this is fruity and delicious and sweet oh this is so good but by the end of the day i felt like i smelled like bug spray i don't know why i don't know what happened or what changed but Definitely going to have to try this perfume out again with something else, maybe just by itself. I don't know. But like the beginning, loved it. Halfway through the day, didn't love it so much anymore. So that one's still going to be in the see where it goes pile. Next up, I paired Whitburn Meringue with my Raspberry Ice Cream Sorbet from Dua, which is the scent that drug me into the whole Dua universe. <laughs> Took me straight down the rabbit hole. But this one, I love it. It is sweet. It smells like champagne sprinkles. Kind of. Not exactly the same, but same family. It is really nice. And I will say props to this bottle because I dropped it on my bathroom floor on the tile and it did not break. It did not crack. It did not, you know, chip or anything. So props to them because I've had some mishaps in my bathroom and this one could have been a disaster, but it was not. So I'm very appreciative of that. This scent also lasted a really long time because it's an extra de perfume. So, you know, that's even better. I really liked it. It was really great. And I can't wait to wear it again with so many other things. So next up, I decided to use Hello Beautiful, which is one of the very few floral scents that I really like. So obviously it's floral because I mean, if you read the notes, there's like four different flowers in it. But it has nectarine in it too, which makes it sweet. So it's not just like in your face floral. And that's, I think, why I like it. Um, it does, does go together really nicely. Like it's just a really pretty scent. I decided to pair it with Menagesty by Nicki Minaj, which is just a fruity kind of floral vanilla scent. It's nice. It's not anything special. It's not something I repurchase after I finish this up, but I'm going to enjoy it and use it while I have it. And together, it was really nice. Like it just made Hello Beautiful a little bit more sweet. Kind of cuts into that floral a little bit and makes it a little less intense if you know what i mean next i decided to pair hello beautiful with oh so sexy by victoria's secret which is just a really nice fruity vanilla whipped cream scent it's absolutely beautiful it does smell a lot like Charosa 40 if you know what that smells like i just really enjoy it and i hope that they will bring it back at a semi-annual sale pretty soon so that i can get another bottle of it but it's kind of the same idea like with the Menagesty. Like just adding more sweetness kind of takes away from the floral that's in Hello Beautiful. Not that the floral is bad, but it just kind of cuts into it a little bit. Makes it a little bit more sweet. And I like it. And I love this perfume. I can't wait to be able to get it again. Next scent that I decided to use is Bubblegum Pop. And since that one doesn't come with a lotion, I use it with Cotton Candy Clouds. So both are really sweet scents. Bubblegum Pop is just like bubblegum with a little bit of citrus. It smells exactly like pink bubblegum. It's so good. I absolutely adore it. I'm so sad that they didn't give us a lotion for it. But I just pair it with Cotton Candy Clouds, which is just kind of like cotton candy. You know, it's just sweet. It's okay together. I actually prefer it more with my Pink Watermelon Blast Body Cream. I think that's a better combination. Kind of smells like watermelon bubblicious, but... I, this is what I decided to use this month. And I decided to pair it with Ariana Grande's Ari, which is just kind of a sweet marshmallow scent. Just kind of added more sweetness to it. You know, it was really nice. I enjoyed it. So my last combination of the month, I decided to pair Bubblegum Pop, again with the Cotton Candy Clouds Lotion. And I layered on top of it Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth. So I love this perfume. It is so nice. It is... You can smell the marshmallow and the chocolate. Like, it really reminds me of Beach Nights. And I guess it must be because the s'mores accord that is in Beach Nights, that marshmallow with the chocolate. Like, I love this perfume. It's, I mean, it doesn't last a long time, which kind of sucks. But I do love the way it smells. So that is all of my layering combinations that I used together this month. Did you guys pair anything great together? Let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.